Welcome back to the show. We would like to say thank you to the staff at Baptist South for giving us an inside look into the new Advanced Heart Check, which is available for only $199 by appointment at Baptist South. Talk about an accurate and affordable procedure. It all begins with a 64-slice CT scan that provides 3D views of the inner workings of your heart. This was so easy. You go in and they check your blood pressure. They also give you an EKG and they get you ready to go in and take your advanced heart check. Really simple, in and out. As a matter of fact, we had a chance to speak to one of the chief radiologists at Baptist South about the procedure and what you could expect. The screening procedure actually encompasses several different uh, things. Not only do you get a CT coronary angiogram, which is, an, which is a complete evaluation of the coronary arteries, but you get the entire heart evaluated, you get the entire chest, which includes the lungs and the mediastinum, which is the central portion of the chest that holds the heart and the great vessels. You will have, a, in addition to the CT, which is a form of x-ray, you will have some laboratory values done as part of this screening evaluation. You will have an EKG and blood will be drawn and you will get a lipid profile which is a measure of the amount of cholesterol and other lipids in the bloodstream, some of which, if elevated, lead to earlier atheromatous disease or coronary artery disease. After the advanced heart check, about a week later, you'll get a CD and a medical summary that you and your doctor will be able to talk about, see if there's any issues or problems. But because we're special, we went back to the hospital and thought it would be fun to go over our results live on camera. Exactly. And I have a pretty good heart and my cholesterol is pretty good too. Right now, things look good. If you have modifiable risk factors that can be treated and with your getting into a discussion with your physician absolutely right the idea is that you never want this thing to look ugly down the road right exactly <laughs> okay. exactly and we have kids and it's you know it is all about education you have to know parents absolutely. we have to know what's going on with us so when we can talk to our kids absolutely. and um, stay ahead of it so uh, my cholesterol is good it looked pretty good from what I could see uh, okay. and I think what I would do in your case however given the fact that your dad does have ha have a history and mm -hmm. has had two stents put in. I think at this point I would recommend that it should be checked annually for okay. now and see where that is and, uh, and trend it to see where it takes us. I on the other hand was functioning normally. Uh, my heart looked pretty good but uh, have high cholesterol. Yes. So they're putting me on a daily medication to help manage that and he said that uh, some of that could be hereditary which a lot of people I'm sure uh, deal with that. The fact that your bad cholesterol as, is as high as it is would suggest that there is a genetic predisposition. Folks who get to that level of cholesterol with a bad cholesterol tend to have at least one gene that is being, uh, being expressed by you. So that is what's going on with, with your cholesterol. And yes, given your dad's history, it should be very aggressively uh, controlled. And the target, you know, given the, uh, even the new guidelines that have just come out recently in the last some months, in the fall of last year, well, we would shoot for about a 30 to 40 percent reduction from where you are currently. And we would put you on a moderate activity medication, which would get you sure. down to that level. And once we're at that target, we would look to make sure that we've done the job and all the other things. And there's uh, the same thing I was talking to Leanne about, the sophisticated profiles that we can look at. So I think that is critical in someone like you because as we'll talk about your uh, heart check, you know, again, just to kind of put the punchline up ahead, things look good there. But having said that, we wanted to look good 10 years from now, and Absolutely. that's what's going to accomplish that. I also asked the doc who should consider getting the advanced heart check. You know, that's a good question. There's really no data on sequential uh, studies, so uh, I guess it would really depend on, after this, would depend on symptoms and would depend on how your risk factors are doing. So, Is there a great age to start? Uh, I think 40 uh, for men and uh, anywhere from 40 to 50 for women. Uh, and unfortunately, we are seeing younger women come with heart disease, so uh, sure. I don't know if those targets are going to stay this way as we move on, but right now that would be a good uh, time to consider, particularly if you have a couple of risk factors, and both of you unfortunately do have some risk factors, so uh, knowledge is power in this Absolutely case, right. and you know that things are okay. We really were excited to get an inside look into our own heart health and be able to, you know, know whether we have a happy heart or not. Go to baptistfirst.org to get more information. And if you want to know what's going on with your heart, 
maybe it's hereditary, maybe you're just curious, maybe your insurance says, hey, we need to know what's going on. This is an easy, affordable way for you to have the information with the Advanced Heart Check with Baptist. Absolutely. BaptistFirst.org, the website or the number to call for an appointment right there on your screen, 273-4450. More on the show straight ahead.